Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to a new review Wednesday. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've sat down and have actually talked to the camera. I've only been doing Instagram videos of lately and it's been so long that I've actually talked to you guys. So if I look like a rookie, then that's the reason why. I might have some videos going up before this video, which I might record later. But this is the one that I've rec I'm recording after a while, so that's why... You know, I'm sounding like a rookie. But coming back to the point of this video, which is not why I'm sounding like a rookie. The point of today's video is a review because it's Review Wednesday and I'm going to be reviewing the Morphe X Jeffree Star collection. So I ordered the brush set and I also ordered the sponge kit. Out of both of them via the Morphe website, but the Australia division, the Australia, Australia, if I may say so, division. So I ordered it from there because you get free shipping over 100 Australian dollars, which is great. And plus, I wasn't charged with any customs. Now, now I'm not too sure if that's the thing with everything that you shop from the Australian website or I was just lucky in this case. I shopped from here because the American website charges like $34 for shipping, which is crazy no matter how much you purchase for. And they were giving free shipping, so I went for it. Anyway, we're going to start right off with these um, babies and test them and check them and just everything. So, yeah, if you want to know my opinions on this, yeah, totally sounding like a rookie. But yes, if you want to know my opinions on this, then please keep on watching. Before that, can we address how today's look is a mood? I have these babe earrings going on, but then I also have a sweatshirt which says short tempered, be careful. It's a mood, you guys. It's a 365 day sort of a mood. Coming back, we have the brush kit and we have the sponges. Let me talk to you guys first about what these are and what these have. So the brush kit comes in a bag like this. This is for $49, I guess, which is roughly 3,500 rupees and you get seven brushes. So approximately you're paying 500 rupees per brush, which is great because there are face brushes and eye brushes in this kit and this pouch is really cute as well it's like a transparent pink pouch and it has silver zip right here and once you open it you have all of the brushes resting inside i haven't tried them on yet i will be doing it with you guys so these are all of the seven brushes so i think you have about four uh, brushes for face and three for the eye let me just take them out of the plastic for you guys they look very um you know luxurious they look very high endy very um, fusion or I would say futuristic almost so this is what the handle looks like they look like icicles almost and the brush is really soft so they have natural as well as synthetic fiber both in these brushes like they have some brushes which are natural fiber and some which have synthetic fiber so that is the brush collection and for the sponges we have three sponges one of them is like the bigger actual morphe sponge in a pink shade and then they come with their baby versions right here so we have a three sponges for $16, which is again a great price point. Now these brushes don't really tell you what they're supposed to do. They're named like the size queen brush and so on and so forth, which is great. I use my brushes in a way which they're not supposed to be used all the time. So you can literally use them for whatever your heart desires. You're not restricted in using them in any particular way. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using sponges like for my base product sponges on one side and the brushes on the other side just to see if there's any difference. We're going to zoom you in so you're up close and personal with me, personal with me and I will use products that I already love and I know how they perform with my regular brushes and sponges so I can see how these perform with the same products as well. Alright, the skin is primed and ready to go. Hello for k realness. You can literally see all of my pores, which is not the best sight, I know. Today I will be using the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I've been really enjoying this foundation and I know how it performs. So I will be taking about two pumps of this. That's that much and I will be striping it down my face just one half first also on my neck these earrings can mess in between but we hope not I'm using JS1 for the foundation that's what he used for his foundation as well and I'm gonna start stippling it in and I'm also gonna buff it slightly so stipple and then buff that's the motion I'm going for Right off the bat, this brush is super soft on the skin, like the bristles are not poking your skin. But a lot of brushes um, and their bristles, you know, sometimes they can be very pokey, which is very, very annoying. And this is blending in beautifully, like all of this is real time, you guys. I'm talking while I'm applying and it just blended in so beautifully. There are no streaky patches, no marks or anything. And it's just blended seamlessly. Hmm, I'm impressed. And it hasn't taken away a lot of the coverage of the foundation. A lot of times sponges and even brushes sometimes they can absorb in the foundation and tend to take away the coverage. 
but the coverage looks phenomenal. Time to use the sponge and this is what the main sponge looks like. It looks like the Morphe sponge. It has this edge right here and then it has this pointed thing right here. Great for the under eyes and all of those areas. So I have my bowl of water right here. Let's see how much this expands. So this is the size originally and we're just gonna, you know, squish it in the water. Just wringing out all of the excess water so it's not wet but just damp. The sponge did increase quite a bit in size, like it is really huge now. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of my foundation. Again, just going to stripe it down my face and neck. And we're going to start blending this out with the sponge. The sponge is very, very soft. It's not... Um, you know, one of those sponges which feel like a rock even after absorbing them into water. Dipping them into water. What is absorbing them into water? Again, it is blending out the product quite quickly. Without any um, weird sponge marks. Even sponges can give you those marks, you know, like when you are pushing them down in one place, it leaves a mark. It's not doing that. The coverage looks equally good. What do you guys think? I think they look equally good. Like it's not like a brush has given me more coverage. I feel like both the sides look phenomenal. However, I do have to say this gets dry really quickly. Like as I'm pushing it down, it doesn't have that damp feeling any longer. I feel like I want to spray it with something because it doesn't have that um, damp feeling. It's drier. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's great if you're someone who does their foundation and then want to bake and you don't want a relatively wet sponge. You want slightly um, a drier sponge. But if you're someone who takes ages and ages with their foundation, if you're someone who likes to perfect and finesse every little detail, you will have to uh, re-dampen it with a spray or something because it has that dry feeling. All right, onto the concealer. I'm using Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. This is in the shade 12G. And I'm just gonna put it uh, right beneath my eyes where I have my dark circles. I'm just going to put it right there on the inner corner where it's the darkest. Again, first doing one sign. I'm also going to highlight the center of my face. I'm going to apply it on the center of my face like all together, not like half and half. I'm going to use the JS3 brush to blend this out. This is probably for contouring and not for concealing. But this is the sort of brush that I would personally use for blending in my concealer if I was using a brush to do my base. Again, we have seamless blending going on. Like, it's so quick. And it doesn't leave you with any, um, you know, that scratchy... Uh, I, I just said that word and I, I've forgotten what that word is. Wow. Those texture that brushes generally leave you with. Scratches. Wow, Shreya. It's done, guys. The concealer is already done. Impressed. Let's quickly dampen one of the mini sponges as well for the other side. Again, it has become way huger than what it was earlier. Here's a comparison if you want to see one. Here's the dry sponge and here's the wet sponge. Just going to put a little bit of concealer under this eye. And I'm going to blend out with the flat edge because that just seems a little bit more interesting. So we are just going to literally pat, pat and pat like that. interesting again this sponge has that dry feeling like it doesn't feel damp or wet it feels on the drier side but the finish is so different on both of these eyes this one is slightly more greasier looking and this one there is no shine in the concealer hopefully the camera is picking that up i'm just going to move a little so that you guys can see the brush side has some shine this one doesn't very very interesting the next brush i'm going to use is the js02 this is what it looks like it has really nice and long hair and they're very very soft i'm going to use this for powdering my face and i'm using the color bar flawless airbrush powder really like this powder i'm just going to pick up a little bit of that powder dust off the excess and i'm going to start setting my under eye area i'm just setting it i'm not baking or you know just applying any excessive powder just gently setting the face so i've just set this eye and again i don't see any streakiness streakiness was the word i was going for so i don't see any streakiness which is great just gonna quickly set the other areas 
I'm going to use the same brush for my contour and my blush because I feel like you can. Also, I don't think I've mentioned it, but these are really comfortable to hold. I was skeptical about this design right here because I felt like it might, uh, you know, kind of hurt your fingers, but it's very easy and comfortable to hold. I'm going to use my Hoola bronzer and we're going to quickly bronze up the skin and see how this brush performs at bronzing up. So just dipping in a little bit, dusting off the excess and just going right here. Oh, this gives a very soft finish. Like I love how much bristles have been packed into this. It's not super dense, but it's not super flimsy as well. It's the perfect um, density of a brush. But what I'm actually curious to know is how this brush will perform with the cream product like this Colourpop blush. Now because this is like a very bendy sort of a brush, these brushes don't perform supremely well with cream products like this. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the blush on this brush and I'm just going to smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks. Well, as I expected, it's not performing the best. My blush is like stuck in one place which is not the most prettiest slide so I'll try and blend it out as much as I can if not I will take the help of my sponge and then just pat it away <laughs> next up it's turn for JS4 a brush I am supremely excited about because this is said to be the perfect highlighting brush and I have with me the pack baked highlighter in the shade 02 I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this highlight because this is supremely blinding dust off the excess and I'm gonna smile and place it on the tops of my cheekbones this does place the highlight really nicely it is nicely tapered so it just places the product in the right place like where you're supposed to place it and you can blend it out as well because it's not like supremely thin it still has some density to it this is great even for a nose highlighting because of the size you can put it here or here i'm pretty sure you can also highlight your inner corners with this because of the pointiness this one does have natural fiber like the hair are natural they're not synthetic and because of that reason this is only supposed to work with powder products and not with cream products my base is done so i'm going to give my skin a quick little shower in a setting spray and then we can move on to the eyes Alright, in my humble opinion, the base is looking phenomenal. I really like how my skin is looking right now. We have three more brushes to go. So I have the JS7 with me. It is an angled brush on one side and a spoolie on the other. This is meant for eyebrows. So I have the browsings with me, Benefit Browsings, which I really like. And I'm just going to use my brush side first to pick up the powder shade, powder product first. And I'm just going to start defining my brows with this. Okay, so this just feels like any other angled brush that I've used from high-end, from drugstore, from anywhere. I'm just going to use this spoolie to brush my brows through as well. Like, it's a good brush, but I'm just saying there's nothing like, oh my god, wow, in this brush. This is just a normal angled brush. The brows are on. We have two eye brushes with us. We have the JS6, which is like a flat shader sort of a brush. And then we have JS5, which is a blender brush, like a more of a crease brush with a tapered end, which is something I really like. Both of these have natural hair on them, so they won't be the most amazing with cream shadows. They're meant for powder shadows. They're meant to apply powder shadows. So that's what I'm going to be trying. I have the Morphe uh, 15N Night Master palette with me right here. It has a gorgeous selection of colors and something just... Oh, a pan just fell. Wait a minute. It didn't break, so I think we are good. I'm going to start by taking selfie and this brush picks up a lot of product in one go. Tap off the excess, always tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to start placing it in my crease. The bristles are again very soft. It's not poking my eye. Didn't get as much pigmentation as I was expecting much better the second time round but I'm still getting very streaky application as you can see let me try and blend it a little bit with lesser shadow on my brush I don't know why I'm getting streaky application after 50 million years of blending I have got the eyeshadow to look something like this it's not still the best but it's it's better than before i for one know these shadows aren't so streaky and so patchy but let's see we'll build up another color with the same brush just to check if it's that's the case with the brush or with the shadows so i'm gonna pick up golds with the same brush it's slightly deeper than selfie and again i'm just gonna go in my crease now this shade is applying slightly better than the previous one 
I think it was just a case of maybe fresh concealer. I don't know because this eye did not go on as patchy as this one did. This is blending better as well. I honestly have no clue why my right eye went on so patchy. Like the first shadow, why it went on so patchy. Like I seriously need to investigate on this. Alright, last shade for the crease is going to be Hello from right here. It has a slight plum uh, base to the brown which is something I love. Same brush because we only have two brushes for the eye and the other is like a shader brush. So I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm going to put it in my crease. Every time I add a deeper color, I place it slightly lower than the previous color so that I have that ombre going on. And I'm also going to apply it on my outer V. Just like that and I'm going to flick this color out slightly. Also, I'm not getting fallout. I know fallout has a lot to do with eyeshadows but brushes play a major role in it as well. So I'm not getting any fallout which is awesome. For my base shadow, I actually want to go in with the shimmer shade and with my JS6 brush which is a flat shade of brush. I'm going to pick up the shade, excuse me, which is right here. It's a beautiful purple shade. And the thing with shimmers is that they are typically difficult to apply with any sort of brush. They perform best with your fingers. So I'm just going to see how this brush performs with a shimmer shadow. So I've just picked the shade up and I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. You know, not bad for a brush. It has picked up a lot of that pigment and a lot of that shimmer. I would however suggest like dampening up the brush first. So that it can give you maximum impact. But still, now with this shadow I did get fallout. As you can see there's a lot of fallout right here. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. There's a lot of fallout right here but that's not an issue. I'm just gonna like dust that off with my JS2. I'm just gonna dust that off and the fallout is gone. I have to say that I'm quite impressed with this brush because it's applying the shimmer so nicely as well. Alright, my eyeshadows are done. I'm just gonna do my lower lash line and some lashes, some lipstick and I'll be back with my final thoughts about these brushes and sponges. Alright, so my makeup is done and I really like it but before giving you my two cents on the makeup brushes and the sponges, I actually want to check if these brushes get stained or not. So I have a synthetic fibre and then I have a natural fibre brush with me and I also have the pack 2 minute instant brush cleanser and a Domino's napkin because I am cheap like that. So what I'm going to do is that I am going to be spraying uh, the brush cleanser on top of the brushes and then I am just going to quickly wipe them off a napkin. For a quick bath, the synthetic fiber brush really got clean and nice and I'm pretty sure it won't get stained so that's a yay for the synthetic brushes. Repeating the same on the natural hair. So the natural hair also got completely clean, that's a very big yay because brush staining really makes me really ugh. I have so many brushes which I love but because they've gotten stained I'm just like, I do I want to use them because it just feels like you're using a dirty brush. Anyway, that's not the point. Getting back to the review, I'm first going to talk about the sponges. I really, really, really like the sponges. I love the finish that they gave. I love how quick they are in blending, how they feel in the hand. They just feel slightly on the drier side, which I'm not really sure why, but that's a good thing as well as I talked in my review. They can also be really great if you're someone who likes to bake and you want to use the sponge for baking. So that's a good thing that once you're done with your foundation, you have the dry sponge and you can bake and you can be happy and go on about your life. So really like the set of sponges for $16 it's a must buy if you're someone who just wants one sponge I'm sure you can buy the red sponge by Morphe uh, it's the same sponge same everything this is just pink in color so that's the only difference right there but of course you can't store it back in the container that it comes in because after swelling up they just do not fit there so yeah I'll have to store them in some separate box Coming to the brush kit, this is what it is right here. I really like this brush kit. I think it's a great value for money. If you have to buy individual brushes and you want that one perfect brush like out of this, I would say get the JS4. It's the perfect highlighting brush. It's so beautiful. I really, really, really like this brush. It's an awesome brush. You can also do very, very concentrated contouring with it. So you can also do your nose, your cheekbones, your jawline and then you can also highlight with it. I really like this brush. I would highly recommend it. The only brush that I was a little mm, about was the JS7 brush. It's an eyebrow brush. 
I just feel like it's an okay brush. I'm not saying it's a bad brush, but it did not wow me away. I have better brushes for eyebrows than this one. I would have actually preferred another eyeshader, like a synthetic shader brush in here. That would have been great to do cut creases or use concealer with to clean up everything. That would have been a little bit better option in this kit, in my opinion, of course. This is what um, Jeffrey envisioned his brush kit to be, so I can't say anything about that. But overall, I feel like this kit as well as the sponge kit is a great value for money. Now coming to getting it, um, getting the Morphe stuff from. If you have relatives in the US who live there, we can buy it for you, get it down for you, buy it from the US side. If you're someone who has no friends, family or relatives in the US, like me then you can always order it from the australia website and hope that you don't get custom charges on it that is the only way sadly sadly morphe is still not available in india offline it's just not hopefully it is soon in the future but it's not available offline in india neither it's online like it doesn't have a separate india website so yeah you have to order it via us or via australia so yeah that was my review for the jeffrey x morphe collection i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me i hope you guys enjoyed this review wednesday and if you did again then don't forget to comment and subscribe because it would mean the whole world to me and i had to tell this to you twice because i am like a rookie today <laughs> so yeah i will see you guys next time till then take care i love you all so much Mwah. bye